Hello, welcome back to Canvas Conversations. Today we welcome the tough nose UFC featherweight Jason the Kid Knight. Jason is coming off of three straight wins with his most recent victory being a performance of the night where he submitted Alex Caceres. Jason looks to put on another show, and make a break to the top 15 rankings this weekend with a strong win over Chaz Skelly at UFC 211. It's my pleasure to welcome UFC featherweight Jason the Kid Knight. Welcome, brother. What's going on, man? Uh, not much, man. We're on the way to Dallas right now. We got uh, about six of us. You know, me, my coaches, and a couple training partners on the way down to Dallas to go ahead and get this fight week started and ready to go do my Saturday night. Cool, man. I appreciate you making time for us. Oh, yeah, no problem. So, uh, this is your fifth UFC fight, man. Are you pretty comfortable now? Have you found a rhythm to this now? Yeah, man, I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, the first one was a little a little difficult, you know, my first time being in front, out in front of the cameras and everything. And, you know, it's kind of a little breathtaking. But uh, after that, you know, it kind of felt like any other fight. I realized, you know, them cameras are just something that's theirs. It's not really that big a deal. You know, it doesn't matter if a thousand people's watching you or the whole world's watching you. You're in, you know, all that other shit don't even matter. So I finally learned how to block it out. Now I'm, I'm good to go. Right on, man. So uh, this mean, this fight means a lot for you. you. Do you think this is the biggest fight of your career so far? Uh, yeah, man, I, the way I look at it, you know, every fight in front of me is the biggest fight of my career because it's the next step. Every time it's the next step in the right direction to uh, where I want to be. And uh, I know Chad Skell is the next guy in my way right now. So at the moment, yeah, he's the, he's the biggest fight ever. Were you kind of disappointed you didn't get the call out you wanted? Uh, yeah, a little bit, man. But, uh... I'm not too heartbroken about it. I, I understand that, you know, I, I guess I haven't shown them enough or for whatever reason, you know, they didn't give me the fight. But uh, I know that it's just it's just a matter of time before I do get that fight. So, you know, I'm not too butthurt about it. I'm just going to go out here and beat Saturday night. And if they don't give uh, give me the Korean Superboy next, then I'll beat whoever they put in front of me next until I do get him. And you know, UFC knows who I want. They know they know exactly who I'm gunning for, and you know they know why I want the Korean Superboy. I mean, so hopefully, hopefully it'll happen soon enough. So you, you're staying with that. You want to stay with that pick. You'd like to get that fight still. Yeah, man. I, I would definitely love to get that fight. Uh, I'm, you know, that that's my short-term goal right now is to fight the Korean Superboy. Because it's nothing against him or anything. He's an awesome fighter, and he's real fun to watch. You know, that's kind of why I want the fight. You know, it's more of a compliment to him. I want to get out there and fight somebody that's going to fight just as hard as me, that's going to want it just as bad as I do. And I believe Korean Superboy, I believe that's the man who's going to do that. We're going to get out there and put on a show, you know. And I believe, you know, Chad Skiller, he's going to get out there and fight his ass off, too. Nothing against him. But I just, I don't believe that it's going to be that caliber of a fight as whenever me and Korean Superboy get in there. It's going to it's gonna be one for the ages. Speaking of your fighting style, that tough-nosed fighting style, where, where did you acquire that kill-or-be-killed type of fighting style, man? That makes you want to get into those fights with guys like that. Man, I, I grew up that way you know my my older brother he beat the hell out of me my whole life and you know he just he just made it to where you know getting out there and scrapping's fun you know it's fun to me and i've had my ass kicked my whole life you know i don't want it to be an easy fight i don't get out there and train my ass off and bust my ass in the gym to try and get ready for a tough fight out there and have an easy night you know that's that's not what i want i want to go out here grip my teeth bang it out get bloody get dirty and nasty and you know see what happens and raised every single time you know i want it to be 
the toughest fight of my career, and I want to give the fans something to watch and you know give myself you know the fun that I was, I've been preparing for each time. I noticed speaking of how intense you get during your fights, man. I notice every once in a while you start talking, and uh, is that just something that happens during the fight? You just start talking to the, your opponent, or is that something you kind of plan out, or are you planning to do that this Saturday? Ah, uh, no, man. It's just something that kind of comes out in me at certain times. You know, I mean, I talk shit all the time during training. You know, it's something that I love fun. You know, just running my mouth to my teammates or whatever. You know, somebody catches me with a good punch. I ask them and be like, man, is that all you got, you little bitch? You know, stuff like that. And uh, in that Jim Allers fight, you know, it's just something clicked in my head. It's time to start talking shit. You know, I seen he was scared. <coughs> or, you know, he, he, appeared, he appeared to be kind of shocked that I was fighting as hard as I was. And, you know, something in my head told me to start talking shit. And, uh, you know, I mean, if, if that happens in this fight, if it, if it gets to a point to where it just clicks in my head to start running my mouth, or if I, if I just think about it, yeah, I'm going to talk shit. That's a good thing. But, you know, guaranteed for every fight because sometimes I'm so in the zone that I, I don't even think about talking shit. I'm just focused on the task at hand, you know. Absolutely. So what type of fight are you looking to have on, on Saturday? Are you looking to have one of those brawls again, or are you just open to anything that happens? I just want to put on a show. Yeah, I mean, I believe that we're going to have us a good, tough fight. Uh, Chaz Giller, he's going to come forward. He's going to fight hard. But, uh, you know, the way I look at it, if he can't take me down, then I, I'm just to kick his ass standing up because I believe that my stand-up's a lot better than he is. And, uh, you know, he, he's a good wrestler, but I've worked a lot on my wrestling, and I think he's going to catch him taking me down. So, you know, if I can keep the fight on the feet, it's going to be a bad night for Chaz Skelly. I think uh, your grappling, your uh, rubber guard, though, that may be a good defense for his wrestling. So he may aim to keep it on his feet with you. Is that part of your game plan? Yeah, man, I, I plan on standing up for sure. You know, I, I want to stand up and, and fight my ass off. But, uh, you know, I can take the fights to the ground just as good as he can. You know, I'm not I'm not opposed to the wrestling. It, you know, if it comes to a point in the fight where I feel like I need to take him down, I'm going to see what I can do to put him on his back. And, you know, he's got good ground game, but I got good ground game too. So I'm not scared of anything he has to offer on the ground. You know, I'm prepared for everything he, he might possibly throw at me. And, uh, you know, if he's not prepared for me, then he, he's going to find himself getting tapped out, you know, because most people, they, they see Jason Knight and they think the rubber guard. You know, they think that's all I got. But I promise you, I've got way more tools in the shed. Cool, man. Hey, man, uh, I appreciate you coming through, man. I know it's uh, tough getting some time for me during fight week. I know you're on the road, and uh, we're kind of losing you here and there occasionally. So uh, I'll let you get on with your fight week. Start your fight week strong, man. Oh, yeah, man. I, I appreciate you having me on the show. Give me a call back anytime. I'll be glad to get back on the show. Hopefully you call me in a week or two, and we'll talk about the win that I picked up Saturday night. Absolutely, my man. We look forward to seeing another great performance out of you on Saturday, my man. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who sponsored me for this fall. All my teammates, coaches, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank you, brother. Hey, you guys can catch Jason's next fight this Saturday live on FX.